Welcome back. Those were the main headlines and more details. President Fatah Sisi received on Wednesday U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. The meeting tackled the developments of the Palestinian cause and ways to revive the Middle East peace process in the wake of the latest developments in the Palestinian territories. Details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Wednesday U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. The meeting tackled the developments of the Palestinian cause and ways to revive the Middle East peace process in the wake of the latest developments in the Palestinian territories. During the meeting, Blinken praised the Egyptian efforts to reach a ceasefire agreement in Gaza as well as efforts to maintain it. Meanwhile, President Sisi praised the United States' full support for the Egyptian efforts. The president noted that the recent developments necessitate the immediate resumption of Palestinian-Israeli direct negotiations with an active engagement from Washington. President Sisi also reiterated Egypt's keenness on cooperation with the United States in this regard and stressed Egypt's firm position to reach a just and fair solution that guarantees the rights of Palestinian people according to international references. The talks also covered the file of combating terrorism and extremist ideologies as well as a number of regional files including the Libyan file. The meeting also tackled the Renaissance Dam, as President Sisi stressed the importance to reach a just, fair and binding legal agreement on filling and operating the dam and achieving the common goals of all sides. Meanwhile, Blinken praised the huge development efforts that Egypt currently witnesses. For his part, President Sisi reviewed the mega-national projects with that aim to achieve comprehensive development in Egypt. On his social media pages, President Sisi praised the visit of the U.S. Secretary of State, adding that they had consultations on different political security and regional issues. The President also praised the partnership relations between the two countries, as well as the U.S.'s role in supporting security and stability in the Middle East. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received on Wednesday a phone call through video conference from German Chancellor Angela Merkel. During the call, Merkel praised the Egyptian-German friendly ties, which represent a pillar of security and stability in the Middle East. Merkel also stressed the keenness to continue coordination consultation with President Sisi on various regional and international issues of mutual concern. For his part, President Sisi stressed Egypt's keenness to consolidate the existing partnership with Germany, adding that Egypt is looking forward to maximizing bilateral cooperation in various political, economic and security issues. The call tackled a number of regional issues, especially the Palestinian cause. The German Chancellor praised the Egyptian efforts to reach a ceasefire agreement in Gaza. President Sisi emphasized Egypt's vision of the necessity to work immediately to resume direct negotiations between the Palestinian and Israeli sides. The call also tackled the latest developments in Libya. President Al Fatah Sisi received on Wednesday a phone call from Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan. During the phone call, Khan stressed the depth of the bilateral relations between the two countries. For his part, President Sisi praised the positive level of the bilateral relations between the two countries. The call tackled the developments of the Palestinian cause as the Pakistani Prime Minister praised the Egyptian efforts to reach a ceasefire agreement in Gaza. The President noted that the recent developments necessitate the immediate resumption of Palestinian-Israeli direct negotiations to settle the Palestinian cause. The phone call also tackled ways to activate bilateral cooperation and the file combating terrorism. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medwuli headed on Wednesday the Cabinet's weekly meeting. During the meeting, the Prime Minister said that President Abdel Fattah Sisi gave his directives to continue efforts and coordination among different ministries and bodies to implement Decent Life Initiative and develop Egyptian villages. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister urged officials to facilitate customs release procedures, pointing out to the Finance Ministry's proposals on decreasing monitoring bodies as well as giving priority to examining production supplies and raw materials imported by production factories.
The joint Egyptian Emirati exercise Zayed III continued in the United Arab Emirates with the participation of special forces from both countries. The exercise includes many activities with the troops carrying out joint combat acts, as well as exchanging expertise between the two sides. The exercise comes in the framework of the armed forces' keenness to enhance military cooperation with friendly countries in dealing with emergency situations and against hostile forces. For the 11th consecutive day, Egypt continues the opening of Rafah border crossing to receive stranded and wounded Palestinians from Gaza Strip and to allow aid into the Strip. Border authorities asserted providing the medical and administrative staff needed to ease the crossing of the stranded and injured people as well as humanitarian cases.